specifically requested to. Welcome to another episode of Uplifting Interviews with Total Strangers. I have got... Who do I have on board? A total stranger. Abigail and Stella. <laughs> Abigail and Stella. I've got two people. Well, not people. Two, um, two animals. Right on the <laughs> Southland Drive. One human, one dog. One human, one dog. And uh, uh, Abigail, right, is a uh, retired show dog. No, Stella's a retired show dog. Oh, oh you're still, not Abigail. <laughs> Stella's Abigail's a retired. The, the still working photographer. <laughs> Stella's the retired show dog. Okay, I, I, I'm going to get confused. It's all confusing. It's okay. But the point is... Uh, tell us about the show dog career. How long did you work for? Um, so she worked until she was about 18 months old. She is a champion skipper key. I believe she was best in breed. I know Continue she on West South Linden Drive for half a mile. Group. I'm actually not sure, quite too sure what her titles were. I just know that she is a champion. She was not bred because she's a little too small and apparently her line also likes paper so she eats paper <laughs> now how did you and acquire her how did you get her um my parents adopted her when i was a freshman in college because uh, i wanted to get another dog we had a, a same breed we wanted another one so they found little miss stella okay who was getting ready for adoption and fell in love so Stella is you like your right hand, a right hand uh, lady she assistant. Is, she is my right hand. Lady. Your, your guide dog. Sometimes down. she's my assistant. <laughs> she's not really. She's, she's not the most effective assistant. Like she can't really fetch anything, but she's she provides good moral support. Well, you know this business is full. You're in show business. You said mm-hmm. um, it's full of a lot of you know scum. And hopefully she barks at the people that are no good. She does. Wouldn't that be I good? I think she has very she has very good taste in people. Yeah. Uh, she always approves my models for me. Okay. For photography, and I remember one time we put her in front of like some prospective models, and she looked at one of them, and she just looked at me with this kind of really expression. <laughs> really. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to tell you, pup. Uh, I guess we won't photograph her. That's great. But she's like just about every single model that I've worked with. Okay. Like she's tried to sit on my prints a couple times. And how old is she? She is seven years old, but she behaves like yeah, a puppy. Put her in the camera there. We can't hardly see her. She's always yeah. looking out the window because she's curious. Window. Yeah, she's gorgeous. She's a very curious girl. Yeah. So you are a filmmaker? Mm-hmm. And have I seen anything you've made or what are you working on? No. And right now I actually can't talk about what I'm working on. Oh. I'm there you go. We, we love those. I do. And I like to respect those. Which is, it's been kind of fun when people ask me what I'm doing. I'm like, oh, I can't say anything. Yeah, that's exciting. Um, it's a film, though. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's good. Yeah. And that's uh, all I think I can say. <laughs> I'm, I'm working, working on a on film. A film. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm in pre-production for that right now, and then there's some other. Is stuff. it a big budget? In the that is a that's a good question. I actually need to. I have I have to talk to our producer about. So you don't even know if it's a big down. budget. So it's a secret to you, even the budget. <laughs> yeah, it's like we, we just, I just signed on, so we're in the very, very early stages. Oh, my buddy just finished a film mm-hmm. called What About Love, okay. based on a woman that he lost. Mm-hmm. Um, she had cancer or something, and it's quite a beautiful film. And he's just raised thirty-five million for P and A. Oh wow! And it's going to be released in uh, on um, Valentine's Day mm-hmm. uh, uh, in February if everything mm-hmm. works out right. Um, and it's, it's a great business. Uh, there are a lot of scum and a lot of uh, wannabes in the business. Yes, this is true. Uh, everybody seems to um, drop names and and uh, throw a lot of um, baloney against the wall for a nice word for it. I've met a lot of those types over the years. Oh, yeah. Especially when you're pretty. You're going to get the, all the big producers saying, oh, I'm a big producer. Want to get on the casting I'm couch? I'm actually pretty <laughs> lucky with my interactions with producers. I've never, I think the... The worst thing that ever happened to me in a meeting was my mentor took his shoes off and put them on the copy and put his feet up on the copy table <laughs> and just asked me, he's like, do you mind? I was like, mm, I mean, we're in your office. So. Yeah. Have you seen this house before? Yes. Yes. I grew is, up here. So. Oh, you grew up in Beverly Hills. I am very familiar. I'm, I was born in Beverly Hills myself. Oh, wow. Yeah. Whereabouts? Uh, well, I was born in Cedars, but we were living on Rodeo Drive at the, okay. at the time. And uh, so, um, but I wasn't raised in Beverly Hills. I was mm-hmm. actually raised in the hills. Because my mom, my dad disappeared, and my mom married a beatnik. And we moved from Beverly Hills, because she got tired of the bullshit. Mm-hmm. And she was an actress and a singer, and mm-hmm. dated Reagan. Was She's on the cover of my book, okay. called Lester's Legacy. Plug. Lester's Legacy. There's a plug. 
Um, and uh, so he, my father disappeared. She married a beatnik, and we moved uh, to Venice in the in '56, which was a place you did not want to be back then. <laughs> Obviously, it's a great place to be now. And um, and uh, so it's, it's all in the book, Lester's legacy. My real name is Lester Monta Cook the Third. Okay, that's quite the name. In uh, in Uber, um, Lester in. In Lyft, I'm Monty. I drive yachts, uh, and I drive um, people crazy. It's like driving a yacht. It's a lot more fun than driving um, a limo, and it's just a lot more fun than driving. I like driving the party limos when there's like 30 people all drunk oh. and having a uh, having a hell of a good time. I have never been in one of those. Yeah, they're they're lots of fun, um, but. Uh, and I've driven a, a plane. I was a pilot. So I've driven lots of different things. Driven a tractor. And, um, I'm trying to think of all the different things I've driven. <laughs> I've so driven a few things. Very eclectic resume. Well, I've had 79 different careers. Oh, wow. In show business, in mm -hmm. construction, in food, in, in sales. Uh, mm -hmm. boy, the list goes on and on and on. And I'm still doing new things, which I like. Mm -hmm. I guess um, well, I think that's one day. Well, I think I found my calling, though, life. as a motivational speaker. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I haven't told you about being fantastic yet. All right. But let me give you. I uh, saw the sticker. You saw the sticker. On the side. It's, see that? It says "Be fantastic." I saw the B. I was like, I appreciate it. And as a producer, mm -hmm. you should be fantastic because people will look to you um, for uh, guidance and for um, confidence. And when you're fantastic, it's quite unique. There are very few people. All right now, I have 878 people uh on my movement oh, wow. it's on youtube okay uh the show's called which, which is your own right now uplifting interviews with total strangers so you might want to become a member do you have <laughs> right. do you have youtube on your phone uh i don't you don't well you, you i am about the biggest technology ever well you can't even watch your own interview then <laughs> well you well, can I, mean, I could i could type it in yeah I just, exactly um, i'm in the process of coming to the realization i need to delete my facebook yeah that's a good idea. Um, so I've been like, especially if you're doing secret movies, you towards, know. Baby steps Se towards delete. Well, so I just like, yeah, I don't really this. It's like you I know what? It, Facebook is. It should be called brag book. Mm -hmm. It's all about looking. I'm on a jet. Look, I'm eating a fancy meal. Look, I'm in uh, Saint uh, Bart's uh, for New Year's. You know, I mean, it's everyone really ba bragging about what they're doing. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, you know, I, was, I use it for business to tell everyone to be fantastic and. Mm -hmm. You know, to join the movement and to uh, be positive, and you know, I'm trying to get on the Ellen show. Anybody out there listening, Ellen, tell Ellen she has to have Doctor Fantastic on the show because every day she says, "Be kind to one another," and that's what it's about: being kind to one another, letting people in in traffic. We live in a very selfish, greedy, litigious society. You know. I love when people agree with me. I love when they disagree, too. I want... This guy before, he says, I don't want to be fantastic. I want to be good. Really? Okay. There's, I've met a few people like that. No, I want you to do, do an experiment with, with, yes. with you real quick. Right now, with great passion, say, I am fantastic. I am fantastic. How do you feel right now, now? Good. <laughs> it feels better. You know why? It made you smile. It's the only word in answer to that rhetorical question that makes you smile. And the smile releases endorphins dopamine and serotonin I interviewed a guy this morning um, and he told me about swearing because I like to learn new things he, to, he told me about it was my podcast not a um, video like this and he has uh, dopamine uh, um, the symbol for dopamine behind one ear and, and serotonin behind the other which is released when you smile and he, uh, he was diagnosed with bipolar and this helps him uh, cope and um it, it was a, it was a great interview, but I learned that swearing is healthy. That's I remember I had a teacher who when I was going to school who told me I think it's like saying the f word the f u sound is one of the most satisfying sounds um, your mouth can make because it pulls the muscles of your mouth back showing your teeth right and it then it pulls the muscle then it pulls the muscle and so all that goes back and then that also. Um, narrows your eyes, so it hides your eyes, shows your teeth. There's a reason why people like saying that word so much. Well, I'm going to give you the professional level mm -hmm. of being fantastic. Yes. You ready for it? Mm -hmm. Say, I am fan-fucking-tastic. Try I that. I am fan-fucking-tastic. <laughs> How does that make you feel? 
Even better. Okay, like I'm still a little groggy because I haven't had any coffee yet. This is like coffee. This actually replaces coffee. It gives you energy because of the endorphins, the dopamine, and the serotonin that are being released when you smile. Smiling is the healthiest thing you can do for your body. So it's definitely, it, up there. it's definitely up there. And as a filmmaker, you have to inspire people. I, yes. I realized uh, now that I'm a motivational speaker, I start thinking back that when I produced like um, Cooking Styles of the Rich and Famous the three episodes I had to actually uh, motivate many people to work for free so I realized I've been a motivating speaker for a long time you know yeah so it's all about but I don't ever want to take advantage of anyone, everyone, anyone I want everyone to benefit on everything I do okay now when you become a very famous filmmaker uh -huh. I want you to keep this card Thank you. and I want you to be a guest on my show Cooking okay. Styles of the Rich and Famous What's your favorite meal? Oh, that's, a tough, that's a very tough question. And, and second question is, can you cook it? I can cook almost everything that I like. Awesome. Well, the cook. show is all about cooking, celebrity, and charity. So, My mom and I cook a lot together. Oh, that's great. Well, see, you invite her to be a guest uh, on the dinner party. It's you cooking your favorite meal okay. in your home for a dinner party for your friends, like 10 or 12 people. And it's, we just roll camera and we have fun. And it's and everything you see on camera, the booze, the food, the clothing, the utensils, it's all for sale on the website. And the proceeds go to your favorite charity. Interesting. How cool is that? That sounds like a really unique show. It is. And I'm, I'm, I just met with John Paul DeGioia this morning. He's going to be on the show. And uh, Sue Wong, the famous dress, dress designer, is going to be on in March. Okay. And uh, Cher said yes. All kind of celebrities have said yes. Because it's all... It's all for a good cause, and it's fun. Mm -hmm. Why fun. not? You gotta have fun in life. You gotta have fun making movies. When you make it, when I make a movie, when I'm working on, on production, because I really like producing, it's one of my favorite things. I jump out of bed in the morning because I can't wait to, to work on the project, right? Uh, I mean, and now I jump out of bed because I I love driving. I love meeting people like yourself. I love not having to think about what I'm doing because it tells me in 1.7 miles I gotta turn left on Mulholland Drive. I get to drive around this beautiful city. We're on, um, what are we on, Beverly Glen uh, or, or Coldwater? Is this Coldwater? Oh, this is Coldwater. Yeah, we're on Coldwater Canyon, one of my favorite canyons. Um, it's, it's a beautiful city. It's a beautiful day, oh, day to be alive. Now, here's why you're fantastic, Yes. if you need a reason. One is you're alive. You know how many uh, rich people are dead? How many billionaires are dead right now? And they can't enjoy their money where they're at, right? Two is you're young. That's fantastic. Three is you're beautiful. That's you. fantastic. Four is you have a great assistant uh, sitting on your lap. That's fantastic. You're being chauffeured to your meeting by an old white guy. <laughs> That's pretty fantastic. Right? Are you in love? I mean, I'm happy. You're happy? That's I, fantastic. I do like driving myself, but my car's in the shop right now. Okay. Um, but anyway, those if you needed a reason to be fantastic, that's why you're fantastic. But if someone, when you tell people you're fantastic, you're going to say, Why? There's two good answers. I like the answer, why not? Right? Why not? It's like people ask you at work, Fantastic. when you're smiling, they say, why are you smiling? Or why are you, um, why are you laughing? Or, right? We question happiness for some reason. But the second best reason to say why you're fantastic is you met Dr. Fantastic, and he gave you the prescription for a longer and happier life. Right. And that's what I did. Be fantastic. Now, I'm going to assume that you're going to go on the computer one day and join the movement. We're 879 strong. I can't wait for 888 because that person, that's my favorite number. Mm -hmm. I, I'm looking forward to who is going to be 888. You're 889 if you, when you join, or you're not going to join now, but put that on the back of your phone as a reminder to be fantastic. And um, hopefully you make some fantastic films and you make a fantastic so. change in the world because the world needs um, fantastic people. Like Ellen says, be kind to one another. I hope when you drive, you let people in in traffic. That's what a fantastic do. person does. They open especially, doors for people. Also, especially if they make eye contact with me when they're lane changing. I always appreciate that. Okay. Can I, can I get it on my desk first? <laughs> Go right ahead. Well, you know, again, we live in a, uh, in this big in the big cities, not just L.A. It's the very selfish, very greedy. They don't know you. Why would they let you in? You know, they're more important than you are. And that's not the attitude to take. Ellen says be kind to one another. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure people really, it's not, it's hitting home with them. Because being kind is letting you in in traffic. That's the kind thing to do. It makes you feel great when you do it, right? Yeah. It makes them feel great. 
So it's got pay it forward. When you say fantastic to people, by the way, there it makes them smile. And if you and I always say that being fantastic makes the world better. Two smiles at a time. You smile and they smile. And it's a very healthy thing to do. I'm sticking with it. And if everyone didn't love that logo and like uh, the, the, the thought of being kind and being fantastic, I would drop it today. Right. But literally to the person, they love that logo. It's a great logo. The bee symbolizes pollinating positivity. I also like bees. And if people who love bees really love the logo. So that's kind of fun. Well, my mom's oldest friend is a beekeeper in upstate New York. There you go. Without the bees, uh, we are we're, we could be in big trouble. Also catch more flies with honey. <laughs> There you go. Well, I want to thank you for participating in a, a, a uplifting thank interviews you. with Total Strangers. Everybody, if you like what you're seeing, um, like, uh, hit the like button there, uh, hit subscribe, hit share, and um, we'll see you uh, later. Everybody, be fantastic. Look at that cute little dog there and a beautiful lady.